Okay, everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at the code L apply and S apply for the basic R programming. Let's look at R Studio. L apply and S apply. You will learn the L apply and S apply to the very most important members of R apply family. So beside the L apply, S apply, T apply, V apply, there is also an apply without any S and L. So apply is also a function. So it's a more fundamental one. So let's look at this uh, L apply and S apply. In them split apply combined strategy for data analysis. So we have a data frame or a tabular data, rows and columns. So we split it. Then we apply a few uh, functions on the subset of the uh, data frame for different uh, analysis purpose or transformation using different. For certain part, I want to time a, a numeric value of 1.5. For another part of the data, I want to do a different transformation to so time a different numeric value. So when we are split it, when data are split it, then we use apply functions to to calculate differently and finally we'll combine so apply plays a role to to repeatedly uh, conduct a numeric uh, algorithmic uh, functions to 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 the data so it's kind of a loop function it will split up data into a smaller pieces, apply function to each of the pieces, then combine the result. Flex data set. Flex. Yeah, national flex. Okay, let's look at these special functions. First six lines use the head of the data set called flex. Flex. Flex is the data we want to use. So we see the name of the country, Afghanistan, Albania, land mass, zones, area, populations, languages, religion, bars, is there any bars on their flag, stripes on their flag, on their nation. What are the colors? Is there any red presents in the flag, greens, and so on? So so this is the flex data set. Okay, let's have a look at dimension. It's a dimension of the flags. So we have 194 countries with 30 attributes, also 30 features. So these name, landmass, zones, areas are one of the 30 features. We see any Store in the word the class of each. Okay. What to find out the class of the flag? Class of the flag is a data frame. Okay, now we are going to do something more interesting. So we want to find out what is the data type for each of the column or each of the features. So apparently the name is a string, then mass, probably a number. So we want to apply the class function on each of the column. So this is where the apply functions come into play. Okay. So let's see. Create a list. Use L apply row apply. Flags class. So apply will uh, pick up one column from the flags and apply the class function and store it into the CLS list. Now you see the CLS list tells you the name column. Name column is a R data type called factor. Landmark mass is an integer zone feature is an integer, area is integer, and so on, and so on, yeah, and the top left, 
factor top right is factor factor is a type of uh, categorical variable L stands for list type the class C list so C list returns the list so this result CLS list is a type of list so we see that name a value name value name value name so it's a list okay let's do something different as character list now let's see factor integer 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 so it forced the list to characters manually converted it so x apply allows you to automatically in this process by calling the L apply behind the scene then attempt to simplify it S means for simplify apply so it will return a matrix or vector or an array let's say S, S apply From the help function, you will be able to see. Uh, L apply, S apply, V apply, and blah blah blah. Then now we are using the same ways to call it. We use S apply to call it instead of list apply. <coughs> now we put it into a vector. Okay, let's see what is the new class vector. It's a character, it's a character, simplify. Okay. Jump to the solution. So some flag orange countries contains orange color on their flag the subsetting of the flags column uh, there is a comma on the left hand side of the comma this is specified the number of rows so on the right side of the comma it is a column that we want to extract a column containing the color data and the store in a new data frame called the color flag. So this is one. The comma before it is subsetting the command tells R that we want the rows, but we want a column here. So column 11 to column 17. We use the skip. We either can type in the command or use the skip. So let's use a head function. Skip it show you the first six record of the subset of the data let's continue so we use a l apply this flag color sum so we sum each of the columns we sum each of the column we use the apply function to apply the sum function on each column of this flag underscore color data frame this is what it does so it says out of 194 countries if I'm not wrong 194 countries there's 153 countries flag contains red color and the 91 countries contains uh, green color on their flag and so on. oh yeah 196 or flex. Okay, by calling instead of L apply. Okay, it's simplified. Earlier, the return result is a list red 153, green 91, and so on. And the S apply will just simply return a, uh, a list, a, a array. 
okay to apply the mean function to each column of the flag color remember that the second argument of the should specify the name of the function without a bracket okay and supply to apply the mean function to each column this is quite straightforward and we, we don't start it anyway has supply flags flag color Black color which function should we use we should use mean function the one thing to note here is we just specify mean without any bracket just specify mean will be enough okay so red green blue gold white and so okay Shapes. Now we look at shapes from 19 to 23. Column 19 to 23. It's about the uh, shapes on the flag. Let's interpret the result. Okay, flag shapes range. So what is a range on the flags? There are circle shape, there's crosses shape, there's uh, Celtaria shape, quarters, and uh, sun stars shape. So for all the flags in all the countries, the maximum number of circles on one of the flag is four. Maximum is four. Crosses maximum is two on one flag. So sun stars is 15. Okay, quite the shape mat. Matrix, MAT means matrix. Building a supply, same operation, building a supply. Instead of help, we use a supply. Okay, you can see there is a minimum number which is row one maximum number which is row 2 for the minimum number of circles appear on the flag is 0 maximum number is 4 so it actually convert the list format into a matrix format so as supply is a simplified version of our apply confirm is a matrix okay straightforward shape matrix so it's a matrix. Okay, let's try unique. Blah, blah, blah. Does it work? Unique function. This is a unique function. Ah, given a few numbers, it will find the unique numbers. So we want to know the unique number of each variable or each feature in the flag data set. How many unique numbers they have so we need to use the apply function of this unique and we will save it into the unique use s apply uh, use l apply it's mentioned let's do use l apply first l apply so this is the data frame what is the data frame we use the flag data set it will automatically apply this function flex by unique functions to each column of the flag. Unique. Okay, let's look at this. Wow, it's pretty long, it's very large. Let's see. Is a list you can see that and blah blah blah. It's very long, it's a very long list. For the names, there are 194 countries, they must be unique. 194 levels unique. For the land mass, there are only a few of them 534612. So these are the unique numbers for zone, unique numbers for area, unique number of populations, and so on. And so on. So this list is of 
very length, so a supply will not be able to uh, to to simplify it. Thirty. One more time, you can do it. Length of the let's jump to the solutions. Apply the length so we can see name is 1094 unique values, six unique values, four unique values, and so on. There are different unique values. So if the length is different, if the results length is different, as supply will not be able to simplify it. So this is the message it says. See the same that you got use as supply. Let's look at the history. Instead of using L apply, we we'll use S apply. Just use the S apply. Okay, so S apply will return the same result as L apply when the lens return the result lens is different across different columns. Okay. Return list contain a second item from each element of the list apply function element element two and our function takes one argument element which is just a dummy variable takes one we return list to contain the second item for each element of the unique values second item of the unique values <coughs> So Albania is the second one in the name column. The first one, what is the first one? First one is which country? Albania land mass is three. The second element of land mass is three. Let's go verify it. Albania three three. That's all three. Albania three three. Let's go back and check. Albania second one. 3 and 3 also should be the second one. Then mass 3 is second one. Zone 3 is also the second one. So it retrieves the second element of, from the result for each of the column of features. Okay, so that's it. In this lesson, you have learned how to use the L apply, list apply, and the simplified apply function to apply an operation over the elements of a list or column of a data frame or one column of a matrix two dimensional tabular data you can use this uh, apply function it's pretty powerful especially when you combine with the subsetting uh, of the data frame or matrix so you can do this call split apply and combine uh, process of data analysis okay so we yeah. Finishing this course. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you soon.